Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a singles new love reading for my dearest Libras. Libra, we're going to take a look at who's coming towards you in love. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through from my dearest Libras for their highest and greatest good. Clear messages and guidance for my Libras, please, for their highest and greatest good. Okay, the person coming towards you, two of wands, could be a twin flame connection. This person could have fire or air in their chart. What they like about you is the seven of swords, so this could be a secret admirer. And... What else you need to know here? We have the Knight of Pentacles. So this is definitely someone, they might be your age or younger. We'll see if we get any confirmation of that. But I also see here that um, this is someone that, that you can go the distance with, somebody that's looking for a relationship. Now they could be a Scorpio. We see the death card. So this is somebody who's ready to transform their life. This is somebody who may, you know, transform your love life for sure. And with the Two of Wands, I feel like this is somebody who's definitely looking for forward movement and growth. This is someone who's going to be quite compatible with you. You might know this person from your community, school, or work. All right, let's see. And for some of you, I may really be connecting with some of my Scorpio Libra cusps out there. All right, so let's see the Two of Wands. What else do we need to know about this person? All right, they could be an Aries. All right, this is somebody who's definitely a risk taker. This is somebody who's adventurous, they're fun, they're up for anything sort of new. And for some of you, they have really been hurt in love is what I'm getting, Libra. Um, I feel like this person may be a little bit hesitant to like jump into relationships because I do feel they've got kind of, we all kind of do, but they've got kind of a nasty ex or like a quite unhealthy experience that they're coming out of. Um, but they are closing out that cycle. Um, this is somebody who's ready for something new. But again, I'm just picking up on them being slightly hesitant here um, because of what they've been through. Maybe a nasty divorce or separation. Um, they, may, they might have also experienced some sort of betrayal. Um, but it looks like this person, you know, they, this is somebody who's quite discerning. They're loyal and diplomatic themselves. They value balance and harmony within relationships. I feel like they're quite fun loving. Um, like I said, they're a bit of a risk taker as well, but I do feel they're a little bit hesitant when it comes to relationships just because of whatever they've been through here. But I do think you two are going to, going to transform each other's lives for some of you, yeah, this person has experienced loss or they're in a period of recovery. Again, maybe a nasty divorce. For a select few of you, this person could be a widow or widower, all right? Um, for some of you, they're, they're recovering financially as well as what I'm hearing. Um, you might also meet this person after they've recently been sick, you know, like they are, they're recovering, maybe their first night out after, you know, having, you know, just healed from something, uh, like physical, okay? This person is creative. They enjoy art, working with their hands, music, putting ideas to work. And this person may be a cancer, okay, or have strong cancer placements. Ruled by water, they're sensitive, they're protective. And we also see Taurus energy coming through. So this is somebody who's stable. They enjoy aesthetics and comfort. They're ruled by Venus. They're loyal and kind, but they can also be a little bit stubborn here. Okay, Libra. So let's see what else we need to know about this person. The Knight of Swords. I feel you two, you are going to connect very well through conversation. There's going to be a strong intellectual connection. This is somebody, I feel like they're smart. I also feel like they, they know what they want. This is somebody who's going to speak very clearly. They're going to be upfront about what they're looking for, what they like, what they don't like. I, I feel like you're going to really like the way this person communicates. All right. For some of you, this person is in their 40s. All right. They may play games. Again, I'm not getting that this person is a player or they play games like with your heart or with your mind. More so, I feel like this person might like chess or they might be a gamer. Okay, like they do online gaming, things like that. And 
this person may be well known, so they might have large a large um, following on social media. For some of you, I'm hearing Twitch. For others of you, this person is just well known within their friend group, within their family, and for some of you, they may be, you know, they they may be well known within the community. And we see that they are awakened. So this is somebody that is definitely going to be spiritual. Um, somebody here that I feel like you can talk about like esoteric um, things. You can talk about tarot. You can talk about astrology with this person for sure. All right, Libra. So let's go ahead and see what else we need to know. How else you'll be able to identify this person. All right, we see that they... This, we're seeing this twice. They have been extremely hurt by a loved one in the past. They're probably going to be really upfront about this. A painful divorce or separation, or maybe even, like I said, a widow or a widower. All right, but this is definitely something that keeps showing up, something that they're still healing. All right, this person may sing in the shower. This is also my gym card. Don't ask me why, but I'd always, I always feel like this is, I always get hits that they go to the gym. All right, so they probably work out, they're physically active, and they speak with an accent, so they could be from a different city, state, or country here, Libra, and also the color dark blue may be important to them. Um, either they have a dark blue car, maybe they're wearing blue when you meet them, also could be their eye color, and it does look like this person may have three siblings. Of course, that's quite a specific message, so that's not going to be for all of you. All right, but let's see what else my Libras need to know about this person, please. What else do my Libras need to know about this person, please? All right, so they may be a slim build, so thin, small frame, maybe average height. Okay, they may have long hair. Again, very specific physical features are not going to be for all of you. And this person may have tattoos or nose piercings, but they're stable, balanced, authentic. Okay, so again, I do feel this person does quite well for themselves. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and see what does this person like about my Libras. So we see the Seven of Swords. I kind of feel this person likes that you might be a little bit naughty Libra at times. Um, they might also have secret feelings for you, so this could be a secret admirer, but they also like that the way you conduct yourself, that you're not like, I don't feel like you're super flashy, um, you're kind of more like subtle and low key, um, but I feel like this person, you know, with the seven of swords energy, um, I just feel like they have these deep secret feelings for you, they see you as quite sexy, maybe a little bit naughty, a little bit adventurous, a little bit of a daredevil energy here is what I'm picking up on. And with that Aries energy, they for sure like that about you. All right. But they, they see the lot they see a lot of potential for stability and growth here, Libra, with you. They do like that you're grounded. All right. And the five of pentacles. For some of you, um, this person sees you as a perfect match. The five of pentacles and the ace of pentacles takes us to the six of pentacles, which is, you know, this is something they've been looking for. You are what they've been looking for. I also feel that you and this person, maybe you've had some shared experiences or very similar or mirrored experiences in your lives, whether that's in your love life or, you know, just like how you grew up or certain things that you experienced that they can really relate to. And it, maybe it hasn't always been super easy. So I do feel like this person respects you and they connect with you over that. Yep, and there we see the Six of Pentacles coming through again, telling me that, you know, what you're looking for is looking for you, and this person sees that with you. Um, they absolutely see this potential because there's something here that they can really relate to in your previous experience, okay? So what else do they like about my Libras? What else do they like about my Libras, please? Okay, we see the Femme Fatale. So remember, my readings are not gender specific, but we all have masculine and feminine energies. But this person just is so attracted to you. Um, and yeah, this person definitely is just, they're like, and I was getting that from the Seven of Swords. Like there's something really sexy, really alluring, provocative about you, Libra, even in it's like, but it's like these secret feelings that develop. I'm loving this. They're seeing you as definitely who've definitely physically attracted to you. 
and they're very physically attracted to you as well. So they like, so some of you, you might meet this person like at the gym or doing something physical. Dedication to transcending physical limits. Um, they like your strength and your willpower here, but this person is very, very physically attracted to you. And they also like that that you have great powers of observation and intuition, all right, and that you're always looking for the truth. So I like this. Maybe you have some Scorpio energy in your chart. Like I said, some of you may be Scorpio Libra cusps because I'm definitely picking up on that, like, Scorpio vibes, like kind of sexy, sensual, maybe a little bit secretive, a little bit naughty, a little bit of that, like, you know, that bad boy, bad girl energy. Um, but this person also really likes that about you, that you're kind of elusive, that you're mysterious. That's the word I'm looking for. So your your advice here, the Knight of Pentacles, is just keep doing what you're doing. I do feel that you and this person both want the same things. I feel like you're going to connect very easily through shared experiences. Um, again, this could be a secret admirer, and it does feel like you probably will meet this person in the community or like at the gym, at school, at work. All right, so Spirit's telling you forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. I do think actually you two will help each other move forward, especially since this person, I feel like they still are healing from something or they've experienced great loss in their lives. All right, you've learned the spiritual lesson. So again, this person is going to really benefit from being around you, from the love that you give them, the balance, or just holding space for them. Again, I don't think that they're a project. I don't think they're somebody that needs you to heal them per se, but I just feel like this person's going to feel that energy from you. Okay, and Spirit's saying the timing is not quite right. So some of my Libras, you might have to wait a little bit longer for this person. And there's another message coming through here that this person may be a secret admirer. Okay, so just be aware of that. This person definitely has secret feelings for you. They're very attracted to you. So remember to look up because a lot of you, this is somebody you know from the gym, right? I keep getting that energy or from like yoga class or, you know, again, that's very specific. So it's not going to be for all of you, but for a lot of you, this person's already in your energy. They've already noticed you, but they may be, you know, they may be still healing or working up the strength and courage to tell you or to come towards you. All right, so we do see this person. They may give you gifts. It might be a sign of their love or just their love language. I'm also seeing this may be a gift from the universe. And for some of you, you know this person from work or we see common cause connection. So to me, that means you have something in common. You go to the same places or place. All right, and we see reaching out. This person will be the one to ask you out. And the more time you spend together, the, the closer you're going to get. So as you, as you get to know each other, your, um, you may discover many more things in common than you initially, than you initially realized or thought. But again, I feel like you and this person are quite compatible, um, in a lot of ways, physically for sure, emotionally, mentally. So it feels like it's all there. So let's go ahead and see what time, what, what are some important dates here for my Libras, please? All right, things may move quickly once they do get going. And June may be an important date for you or for this person. So I don't think it's going to take until June to meet this person or to get together. But again, if they are a Cancer, for example, they might be a June Cancer. Um, but anyway, I'm going to leave it there, Libras. I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe. Check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light. Take care.